But of course, at Christmas, everybody wants a centerpiece. So, whereas the turkeys are relatively easy win, yeah. uh, for vegetarians, you want something that's going to be extra special. A whole squash yeah. really does it. And you can roast a whole squash in the oven for about an hour. So you've just taken out the seeds? I've taken out the seeds from the middle and a little bit of the flesh, which is in the roasting tray. What's in the roasting tray is going to end up inside the squash. So that squash flesh, onions, parsnips, always good at Christmas. In fact, one of you could give the, the roasties a, a trickle of oil. What oil is that? Is that any that's oil? That's a little bit of English rapeseed oil, but you can use olive oil, and a sprinkling of this very festive spice mix, which is fennel seeds, coriander, uh, smoked paprika, chilli, and a little bit of chopped rosemary. So you can be quite gung-ho with that. I'm just that putting a little good. bit of salt and pepper in my squash. So that, once you've oven cooked that, that'll all go soft as well, so you can eat that bit Absolutely. As well. It holds its shape, mm. but mm. is tender enough to eat. So we can do a little swap over and see where this gets to okay. after an hour or so in the oven. So an hour in the oven, so right, got we've it. We've got the... Uh, can the I help? Cunning... Yeah, please, if you grab that... Hang on. You've got a cloth over there. Yeah, yeah, I do. So we'll, we'll do a straight swap, the, uh, the raw for the cooked. And, Philip, if I'll take that tray there... OK, and we'll do a swapsy. Swap, swaps. Oh, and now you can see what's happened here. Yeah, yeah, here. yeah. This is the magic of the oven with vegetables. And this is the sec one of the secrets to making mm. vegetables incredibly tasty, is roasting them to get those caramelised corners and edges. Did you smell that? It's a, it's a beautiful spice mix, that. Oh, wow, it smells like... Now, it actually smells like bacon. <laughs> well, it's got... I mean, it's got some of the same spice... I, I, I use coriander to, to yeah. cure my bacon at home. Doesn't it? Now, like, but I think it's like pipe tobacco. <laughs> Uh, bacon and pipe tobacco, Let's stop but whatever. It, 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 I'll tell you what. It's the smokiness of the paprika mm. that gives you that, that uh, pipe tobacco. Okay. So halfway through the cooking, I put in some of this chicory and some oranges, and the oranges are just uh, they just lent their flavour. So we just squeeze out the juice. We don't want the pith in there, but now it's time to load up the pumpkin. So, I mean that does look delish, doesn't it? It's going to look even better in a minute, because yeah, if you hold that for me, Philip... So everything's gone caramelised, and you've got some creamy squash, roasted parsnips, and the chicory gives a bitter note, uh, a sort of bittersweet note, which is perfect, because it makes it somehow extra Christmassy. And There's also, onions we, in there too. Even, I mean, if you're not vegetarian, you're a meat eater, we do tend to eat too much meat, don't we? And we do. I mean, meat uh, especially at Christmas. Than... I, th I think meat... I think... Vegetables should be front and centre in our kitchens. Yeah. I'm still a, an enthusiastic omnivore, but really, for most of the week now, I'm eating mostly veg. There might be something a bit meaty or fishy at the weekend. It's just about balance. Yeah, and if you're now, buying less meat, you can buy better quality meat, and then you know you that can. meat's being... You can, from animals that have... Yeah, you know, I think Free so. range. I agree, Spend a little I bit agree. more on animals that have lived well. Now, the final flourish... Got to get the sprouts in at Christmas. Yeah. Not everybody loves sprouts. I'm not a massive fan. Have a little taste of this. All right. This is raw them. sprouts. I'm, I'm, I'm going to. Yeah, Philip and I are straight in with the fingers there. But a raw sprouts dressed with lemon. Mm -hmm. There's quite a tang to it. Mm -hmm. And I'm actually going to use it just to finish off the stuffed squash. So you can see, squash. That's amazing. Bread. It's good, isn't it? I like sprouts. So you've just, you just grated them. Uh, finely, finely chopped or grated, that works very that well. That is so nice. So it's a side salad, but I'm also going to use it to garnish the squash itself. I want everything to look pretty and mm. festive, and there's no reason why vegetarian food can't do that. Finally, a sprinkling of toasted nuts and seeds, and that is a centrepiece. You know, that is a really special thing to bring to the well, kitchen really table. Really beautiful. So if you've got vegetarians or vegans in the family, Put this on the table, and they, they're being just as well looked after. Yeah. You know, it's it's all about sport. loving your family with food at Christmas. Can and we dive in? You can, you can. Let me bring it over here, because there's another little trick up my sleeve I mm. want you to see. OK. These are the ultimate festive roast potatoes. I mean, they look it as well. So what we've done here, I, I've chosen quite small potatoes, that and I've boiled them... That is unbelievable. I can't are you like liking that, that the, Those spices on there, I can't tell you what that is. so lovely. So amazing. So glad you're enjoying them. That's great. But, I mean, that's the thing is, there's no reason for vegetarian food not to be absolutely bursting with fantastic flavours. Mm, that's amazing. And none of it's hard. I mean, this will be a lot less effort than your stuffed turkey, and mm. it'll, take, it'll be done in about an hour from mm. start to finish. The secret of these spuds, boiled in their skins rather than cut up and peeled, and then you just give them a little crush. Are you boiling them so they're totally soft? Or uh, are you boiling almost, them? Almost. And then you start breaking them up, and then they go into the the hot sizzling fat in these sort of semi-broken pieces yeah, like that. Yeah, I see what you mean. 
So that's so n not so much clean cut edges, but rough and ready. And then mm -hmm. you get these little toasty corners and rough edges. And just to top it all off, feel free to dip a spud in here. I am. Oh, you've got a bit of garlic on there. This is roasted with... The, there's garlic and bay leaves in the boiling water, mm -hmm. and then you swap it over into the race, roasting tray. Now, that is a vegan gravy. Is it? That is a vegan gravy. So what, how, how do you make that? A little bit of red wine, mushrooms, uh, a little bit of garlic, soy sauce, and the secret ingredient, a tiny bit of coffee. Just to no give that way. Of, that's the sort of gravy. It packs a punch, doesn't it? That's really lovely. Mm. See, that's more interesting than ordinary meat gravy. Well, it is actually. Uh, it is. I it's can't a really that. blend. It's a little bit of alchemy. I think I'm going to have to dip wow. the roast potato in the gravy. I mean, that's what Christmas is about. It's not not that we're there yet. But well, the good thing is, we're not I in any rush it. at all at the moment. Normally, we're chasing our tail here, and there's an. Um, What's I'm this sorry, little? Just, just sitting, sitting there, watching us eat. But I can't believe that gravy. That's, that's incredible. And what's this little lovely thing here? Well, this is just a little bit of fresh crunch. A simple side salad, apples, celeriac, parsley, walnuts, and raisins soaked in cider. Mm -hmm. So it's the fresh crunch, which is the sort of antidote to, to all this quite... Because it's actually quite rich, this stuff, pumpkin. Mm. So here's something zesty, just to set it all off. And the flat leaf parsley, the crunch of the apple, the tang of the cider-soaked raisins... OK. ..brings it all together. That's lovely. Ooh, raisins soaked in cider. I'm so good for you. Mm. Yeah, if you have that I mean... for Christmas dinner, you can have extra chocolates. <laughs> <laughs>